guessing they were going to land. Was it just it was that the only large enough landing spot or something? Why did they why did they go to to those beaches? Amy Pond is the Doctor Who companion played by Karen. Okay. All right, let's come up here. This is deja vu thing again. Let's go to ground. GPU is connected. Uh, fuel truck. Gate config. Airplane. Open the door. Ground. Let's load the plane. Up here to eight. Let's go battery on. Standby power to auto. Close the battery guard. External power on, bus ties on, utility bus ties on, and let's connect to Pilot Edge. Pilot Edge connect, Global 572. Connected to Pilot Edge. So are you in, are you in Billings, Tim? You are, you said you're in Billings. All right, I'm going to one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so hopefully I'm on one, two, three, four, five. Can you hear me on one, two, three, dot four, five? Can you, how now, brown cow, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me on the stream or on the radio? On the radio. Oh, good. Brilliant. Thank you, Tim. What? Why did a reboot fix that? That's weird. Radio is in headset, so no mistake possible. Okay, thank you, Tim. Thank you for the... We have we have a gifted sub. This URL not found. Gifting a sub to Tim Rodeo 314 And Tim... This URL not found has gifted 12 different subs. Thank you. Appreciate that. And thank you, Tim, for helping. Bucky OG is here. Hello, Bucky. I saw that you were... Uh, I think you were... You built a website for 757 Spy or something. Is that right? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right. Deja vu thing again. All right, so GPU is on. Door is on. Park brake is on. Battery is on. Standby power to auto. All the ties are on. Let's go down to the FMC. And let's go position a knit. Set the IRS position. Go over to the root KBIL. Wait, 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 wait. I need to go back to the init. A knit page. Index pause reference airport KBIL. Root KBIL KSLC. I'll stick around until you call for clearance. Thank you, Tim. All right, let's activate that. Let's do a perfinet gross weight. Uh, reserves of 12 cruising at 300 zero zero. cost index of 100 ski unable cruise altitude I don't know why that takeoff flaps 5 CG ref speeds boop 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 so I've been wanting to get into Paladish to help practice for the real world but the cost is so high yeah. It is high. 19 or 34, I think it is. Uh if you're if you're paying for a student glider pilot lesson, you're paying far more per hour than you would f for 6 months of pilot edge, which would actually give you a head start on, you know, a lot of things with regard to procedures, but gliders don't do as many procedures obviously, but yeah. I think it's well I always think it's well worth it. 
All right, back up here, emergency lights, armed, position light on, uh, cargo heat, aft forward bulk. Uh, we'll also do cabin to auto. This is our temperature control for the forward cabin, mid cabin, aft cabin. We'll also do temperature control for the flight deck. And trim air is on, recirc fans on. Portland ground, Delta 2189. We're rated taxi. Left and right pack on. Left center right isolation valves on. 2189, Portland ground, run, we do it right. Taxi via Alpha, advice, you have one. Airplane. My bad, we are, we have the weather, Delta 2189. Remove the fuel truck, the gate can Delta fade. Alpha. Close the door. Two eight right via Alpha 2189. Hopefully he hears me this time, huh? Are there trolls on PE like that, Sim? Uh, no. I've never heard a troll. Remove your drive left and right. You've seen, you've seen, Bucky, don't, don't play dumb with me. You've seen Pilot Edge streams. You know there's no trolls. Yaw damper left and right. Somehow I missed the nav alignment. I'm going to have to reset the... San Francisco uh, clearance from Lufthansa 455. Hey, Heavy. it's Black Box. Information X-ray requesting clearance to Frankfurt. Lufthansa 455, Heavy, San Francisco clearance. Good morning, good to Frankfurt Airport. Santana really? Orca transition that has filed. Maintain 3,000. Maybe you're the, a different Bucky than I'm thinking of. Maybe I'm thinking of a different Bucky. Well, welcome to, to your first. Transition, Dennis file, I'm 3,000. Frequency 135.10 to Squawk um, 2161. All right, uh, we're going to turn on, well, we'll call for clearance now. Hopefully this works. Let's make sure we still got a file in place. That radio quality is amazing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he got radio clearance for Frankfurt, Germany. Yep. And he's Lufthansa, so he's flying. Uh, he's flying a 747 from San Francisco to to Germany. That's pretty cool. That's a long flight. I could not do that flight. All right, let's go to uh, down here to ground. Yeah, one two one point nine. Billings Clarence, Global 572, IFR Salt Lake City. Please, 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 please. If you could sleep on the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Come on, did you hear me? <sighs> Come on. Tim heard me. You heard Global 572, Global 572 IFR? Heavy uh, good morning, good to Salt Lake City Airport. Billings 5 departure. Redirect us to Billings, then as filed. Maintain 7000. Departure frequency 120.5. Squawk 3233. Clear to Salt Lake City, Billings 5. Departure radar vectors, Billings, then as filed. Maintain 7000, 120.5, and squawk 3233. Global 572 heavy. Global 572 heavy is back correct. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate the work. Mm -hmm. I'm super happy that he talked to me. All right, so let's go down here and dial in. Set transponder three two three three. Set transponder three two three three. Transponder set to three two three three. Call of the hell. Say call again. Okay. 
Now back to the checklist. Could we say this flight is late leaving the gate, but success? Yes, Cajun Cacti. That's exactly right. Couldn't couldn't have been, said it better myself. All right, hydraulics. And if your altitude reporting equipment is turned off, squawk altitude. Hydraulics pumps on and auto. Gen continuous on. And we also want to do window heat, which is right up here in the upper overhead. Or not the upper overhead, the upper part of the lower overhead. Passenger signs down here for no smoking, seatbelt signs to auto. Uh, landing altitude. Salt Lake City, 42. We'll go auto 2. And landing altitude, yeah. There we go. That's all good. Left and right bleed on. Left and right engine bleed on. And we'll start the APU. Start. There's the APU EGT rising. I think I may just purchase the yearly subscription so that one time purchase it. Yeah, exactly. I think that's a great, great idea. Yeah, I did the yearly. It's it's great. Oh, fly John sleeping. Ever since the reboot of the PC, yep. Isn't there a, like a Easter egg in here somewhere? Or if you look into one of these, there's actually like eyeballs looking back at you, or is that a different plane? I can't remember. All right, so APU has started. Let's turn on the APU gen. And the APU bleed. And let's turn the external power off. I always get nervous when I turn the external power off. We'll disconnect the GPU. The doors are closed. Yes. Have you on the PE map? Nice. I want to get Western US, but can't because I can't can't get the cats done. What I can't seem to get the cats done. What's the point? You don't need to do the cats. You don't have to do the cats. The cats are good. Darren Vox, how are you? Don't misspell John. It's a minus one snack if you misspell John. Fly. All right, we've closed the door. Let's go fuel pumps on. We don't need any cross feed or center pumps. Left and the right pack is coming off. Boop, boop. We have pressure in the duct. Any collision light is going to red. And we will do a pushback. But I'm going to check to see if we actually push back onto a active taxiway. Which we don't. Everyone told me it was the best to do the cats first, even John Fly. I agree. Why can't you do the cats? Why can't? How many cats have you done? That sounds weird. Round a cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. All right, let's push back. Right there. Yep. There we go. I wonder if I can get all the cat ratings done before my trial oh, ends. That'd be pretty cool. Every once in a while, the John Fly Channel does a pilot edge scholarship. We put people on the path to enlightenment. You've done six, so what's is the seven one difficult or something? I to be honest, I haven't finished my I ratings. I'm on I I I've passed. I've done eight tests and I've passed them all the first time, and the, and the next one was the I six.
which I think I can pass that one the first time as well, but I'm worried about the I-10. I find it interesting that trolls rarely affect John, but add the H to his name and blood pressure starts to climb. Yeah. You're in a GSA Twitch group. How do you join? Well, that is a good question, okay. Bucky. All doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Basically, the only, well, you've got to, you got to, you got to turn your videos on so people, so the GSA can come and look at your channel. Because right now, if we go to Bucky OG, there is zero uh, videos available for us to preview. Uh, you've got uh, five followers right now. Um, so typically, it's about 250 followers. The GSA will then review you. But you want to have a webcam. You want to have good audio. Pilot Edge is a huge plus. And so the first step, and yeah, St. Wilfrick said. Release parking brake. What, 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 what St. Wilfrick said? Lifesaver is here. GSA, baby. Yeah. Oh, and you also need to subscribe. <laughs> no, just kidding. Some of the GSA does not sub subscribe to John Fly, and that's totally fine. All right. Let's push back. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. Is there any GSA member in here that would like to be gifted a John Fly subscribe? Let me know. Oh, pushback is working. Oh, baby. A webcam is a huge plus, yeah. Uh, there's very few exceptions. Like, for example, we give an exception to Black Box 7-Eleven uh, for having no webcam. But then again, he's just brilliant. <laughs> and Torbinator 97 doesn't use a webcam either, and he's awesome. Nice graphics. You like those? Yeah. Can I be awesome and not use you need? Why would you not want to use a camera? Why would you not want to see the facial expression on we want to see the facial expression when you totally botch the cat five. We want to see that it's entertainment. It is entertainment of value. A fine up mic, yeah, mic a good 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 microphone is is a big deal. Yeah, I'm purposely delaying engine start. By the way, I've wanted to stream, but I'm afraid too many student trolls and issues. Yeah, you're in it. Yeah, well, you could stream, but you 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 probably you probably would need to do it without a webcam and without advertising it. Yeah, to this to the to the to, the, to everyone. In your line of work, yeah. You don't have facial expressions. I'm b wait. Okay, so Bucky, you you want to join the GSA, but you just said you're boring. Those two don't mix. You got to sell yourself, right? Set the parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand I don't think that GPB link works anymore. I look better. Do you have a face for, for radio, Scotty, like I do? What's Wolfric's line of work? He's a teacher. Yeah, he's a teacher. And that's the re I think that's the reason that Black Box doesn't use... Oh, look at the sunlight. That's the reason that Black Box doesn't use a, a webcam as I think he's a professional pilot and he needs to you know, remain anonymous to a certain degree. You must unbore yourself. Exactly. Exactly. Look at the sunlight. I'm going to change the position of the sun. That's a Pink Floyd song. I, just and bypass pin has been removed. I have a face for radio and a voice for right. silent films. We'll see you next time and have a great flight. But, Floydian22, you are the Snack Air MVP of July. If I go over to snackair.com, and I click on leaderboard. Check out the leaderboard, folks. Floydian up on top. San Francisco ground, look at the 455 heavy with the information requesting taxi to it left, please. 
four thousand in profit, almost two million in income. Does snackyard.com slash GPB actually work? It's on the four fifty five heavy, San Francisco ground runway two eight left, taxi via Alpha Foxtrot, cross runway one left and runway one right at taxi via Foxtrot. Alpha Fox Trot, uh, runway to left and uh, crossing runway one That's left, Black Fox uh, one right one there. Right. I'm learning more on FS Economy. Might join Snack Air. We'll be in the lead. There you Let's go, Mamba. All about the grind, yeah. Thank you for flying for Snack Air, Floydian. All right, let's go ground. Hopefully, we have. a situation where we can actually start the engine. I think we wait for 25, don't we? Uh-oh. The N2 is kind of rising slowly. What's going on? All right, I think we I think we got a good start on number number 2. All right, starting number one. Again, looking for that N2 to hit 20. Is it 20? I'm going to do it at 25. What do you guys do the 7.6 at? The John Fly link still works as well? Really? Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, GPB 500 airports are great. Alright, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. You usually do 20. Add in a few. Yimmy T says, I'm sorry, I'm very unfamiliar with these types of streams, but I lurk trying to understand the sim and how you're using it. Who are you talking to when you call out I was thinking it was part of the sim but it seems like a real time conversation sorry again I know that's probably way base level nope no problem Captain Cody says he hits you when it hits the purple tick really the purple tick uh, yeah so Yimmy T yeah we're talking on pilot edge so it's a real world controller that I'm talking to in just a few minutes I will be actually asking the ground controller here in Billings Montana for a clearance to taxi to the runway notice how I did not say active you just logged in as November 4-1 Bravo Whiskey and the Piper Arrow. Very nice. Yeah, there's a two-week free trial on Pilot Edge. It is a real-world sim controller. Yep. He's got radar. He's looking at me. All right. APU bleed can come off. APU itself can come off. Uh, engine gens are already on. Uh, packs can come back to auto. That's our air conditioning. And we'll left, center, and right ISO valve. I think we'll do left and right off. We'll leave the center isolation valve on, is what some people do, but I'm not sure. Uh, VOR to auto on the both sides of the MCP. Not sure how necessary that is. Flight director, we'll make that the master. Flight director on that side is secondary. Uh, we'll set the IAS to V2139. So up here on the MCP control panel, 139. Ah, we'll go 144 IAS. If you have time, Marcus MMC streams weekday mornings as a controller. Yes, for sure. There's a purple tick mark before you turn on the fuel. It's on the N2 and the 767 and the 757 with the Pratt and Whitney. And on the N3 and the 757 with Rolls Royce. I didn't know that. As John Fly has voice recognition set up, that's tied to his MCP so that he can verbally instruct his aircraft to set altitude. Yes, there is a, 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 a first officer that actually I can talk to. Alright, let's get the weather. PlaneCommand.com. Billings is information Romeo. Again, we're going to go out to 28. We better program our FMC now that I think about it. 
uh, route departures to a right uh, route uh, oh actually there's no Billings 3 departure I don't see a Billings 3 departure in the FMC and this is an updated FMC Tower Delta 2189. We're holding short to a right. Ready to go. I gotta look at this because he gave me the Billings three, Billings five departure. So over here on Sky Vector, if I go KBIL to KSLC. Delta 2189, Portland Tower. right, cleared for takeoff. When very blood. Billings three. five. There it is. Do this, dudes. Are you ready? ready? Here we go. In three, two, one. Yes! Oh. Bell dudes is here. Yes! 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 Freedom! Yeah, you're right. You're you're totally right, Val dudes. Is I have not seen anyone fly the seven six seven in a while. All right, top altitude is fifteen thousand. If we take off from runway seven. Two, or sorry, yeah, seven two five two eight left or right. Climb on assigned heading for vectors to assigned route. Um, all right, that's easy enough. So the top altitude basically is fifth is fifteen thousand. But he wants me to climb and maintain seven thousand. All right, good enough. All right, so on the route page. Hope you're doing well, Val dudes. Uh. Let's just put in Bill. And then Billings VOR, I'm assuming is 114.5. Yep, that's it. And then after Bill, we want to go to Nelks. So November, Echo, Lima, Kilo, Sierra. After Nelks, we want to go to Simple, Sierra, Yankee, Mike, Papa, Lima. And then put Simple there. Someone asked if I could double click here. No. Can you use keyboard mode on this? I forget. And then we want to go to Jackson, J A C, Jack. And Jack is a, a B O R. The other day I put in Boise, B-O-I, and there's a B-O-I, V-O-R in France. <laughs> so be careful. Jack is on 115.4. That's correct. Execute. Departure and arrival. Uh, we'll go to route. Sorry, not route. Departures and arrival. Index. Salt Lake City arrival. We're doing the Nordic 5 with the jack transition. Eating, typing, flying an approach. One of these things is just too much, yeah. I went for a quick jog and I know, Taylor. We had we had a problem. We had to reboot the sim, actually. Okay, so if we go back to myflightroute.com. Delta twenty one eighty nine contact Portland departure. And we refresh. Portland departure twenty one eighty nine. And we go to KSLC information Juliet in Salt Lake City and it looks like they're doing a visual 1-6 left and right alright so we'll preliminarily plan for the 1-6 left ILS 1-6 left yep. now we'll go check for discontinuities we'll bring Jack up to there execute next page We'll bring that up to there. I don't know if we'll be landing one six when we get there. Contact, climb and maintain one five thousand. We'll find out. Now the route's working for Project Fly. That's cool. At least no one would ever fly towards the France VOR by mistake. <laughs> you have a good memory, B two. You have a good memory. All right, heading is set. We're going to set heading to 28. 
assuming that we're going to take off from 2.8, which I am assuming that we will. We're still on ground. Chicken and gravy. I'll just drop your slice of pizza on the keyboard. <laughs> Altitude. Uh, we, he said we can go to uh, 7,000. So 7,000 is set in the MCP. We want to do uh, auto brake RTO. Reject the takeoff set on the auto brake. We want to do flaps 5. And we also want to do trim. Trim here, according to this, should be 1.7. So down here on the trim tab, got to get that way, way down here. There's 1.7 approximately. Flight control check, free and clear. Taxi light is coming on, which will probably be right there. Taxi light on. San Francisco Tower, good afternoon. Lufthansa 455, heavy holding short to it left, ready for departure. Stop 455, heavy, San Francisco Tower, runway 28 left, cleared for takeoff, wind 280 at 13. Clear for takeoff, 28 left, Hansa 455, heavy. Billings ground. Global 572 terminal taxi with Sierra. Global 572 heavy, roger, uh, stand by. I gotta remember to use heavy in every call out except for when I'm talking to center. Level 572 heavy blank ground on way 28 right and taxi via alpha. 28 right via alpha, global 572 heavy. Okay, parking brake off. Delta 2189, contact Seattle Center 135.15. And that's what I talked about in my vlog is when when you call for a clearance to taxi, economy, auto taxi right after, don't sit there for five minutes or even a minute before you start taxiing because your clearance is for right then and there. So don't call in for it until you're ready to go. Oh yeah, baby. It's heavy time. Seattle Center, climb and maintain level 330. So reboot fixed the connection issue. Yeah, it fixed the audio issue. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Capital clear on Southwest 457. I am part of Burbank, please. Southwest uh, 457, Capital clearance, clearance on request, Emily. Heavy contact, North Call departure. Contact North Call departure of times of 455 heavy. Is he really? Is Black Box really going to fly that entire flight? That's amazing. That would be a long, long haul. Crisp, Kerr, yep, Twitch Air. You forgot to reply standing by. <laughs> Cajun Cacti, yeah, I was a heavy. little worried as well. North Cal departure, radar contact, climb and maintain, five level one, nine zero. All right, we need to be ready to go at the end. So we'll turn on all the lights, landing lights coming on. Five Sierra Lima, contact North Cal for 120.9 or five. 
American 491 radio check. We'll turn the taxi light off. Turn the American auto throttle on. Air on. Air Transponder on TARA. Let's do a recall. No recall. Okay, turn tune over to tower. One two seven point two. And then we put in departure one two zero point five into the standby. I'm using the SciTech panel to do that, but as you can see down here, it's set one two zero point or one two seven point two and one two zero point five. I think we're ready to go. Uh, we're going to hand fly this until he gives us a, a vector. Uh, just one more time. Billings Tower, Global 572, short 28 right. Uh oh. Heavy. I keep forgetting heavy. Global 572, Billings Tower, wind variable at 5, runway 28 right, cleared for takeoff. 28 right, cleared for takeoff, Global 572, heavy. Hello to the calmest man on Twitch. <laughs> uh, thank you, Osprey. How are you doing? Is there an update for plane command? Uh, there's an update in January, I want to say. Look at that. Oh. Here we go. There's V1. Rotate. Positive rate, gear coming up. Okay, we wanna go Command A, heading hold. And we're just gonna climb, do a slight climb here. 7,000. Clean up the flaps. Another flyby. We'll know if we see fighters closing fast this year. <laughs> Did you get clear for takeoff? I hope so, yeah. Over to departure, Global 572. Need to slow way down. Departure Global 572, 6,300, climbing 7,000, Billings 5. Global 572, heavy, and Billings departure radar contact, climb and maintain 15,000. Climb maintain 15,000, Global 572, heavy. All right, our speed was a little bit hot there. Oh, snack, you scared me. 
Thanks. Oh. The fork. Thank you. All right. Let's go vertical speed. 3,000 feet per minute. Once we get above 10,000, we can go above 250 knots. Right girl in the house. Yep. Did you enjoy the Open Championship? Absolutely, yeah. Captain Cody, yeah, we totally blew through the speed restriction under 10,000. That's why the service isn't started until cruise. Yeah. He was kind, though. He didn't he didn't call me out yet on that. There's nine or thousand. I emptied my bank account, but the two days was there. It was amazing. Oh, you went there. You were there in person. Yeah, that was that was a good time. I, I, congratulations to the first Italian to ever win a major, Francesco Molinari. Puck Vanek is here. How you doing, Puck? I just blew through his... Proceed direct to Nelks, reasonable navigation. Climb and maintain five level 230. Proceed direct Nelks and up to 230, global 572 heavy. All right, let's uh, turn direct to Nelks. And we'll, in we'll introduce LNAV into the situation. Not on an intercept heading. All right, we'll go heading vectors then. Uh, we'll turn. Heading select. And up to 230. It needs to be on an intercept heading in order to do a direct to on the FMC, apparently. But if I go direct, Nelks, boom, execute, then once I get to a certain point, I can enter. Yeah, there's LNAV. LNAV's in now. I'm not, yeah, I'm in LNAV now. All right, a little bit of SOP. Uh, landing lights can come off. Everything else looks good. Through 14,000, uh, cleared up to 230. Uh, FMC says Nelks at 300, but we'll, we'll stay at 3,000. That's fine. We're above 10,000, so we'll go ahead and increase this up to 300 knots. Should I climb at 300 or 280 or 290? Why not VNAV? Um, mostly because... Global 572 heavy contact, Salt Lake Center, 128.72. 2872, Global 572 heavy. Salt Lake Center, Global 572 Heavy, 16,300, climbing flight level 230. Global 572, Salt Lake Center, climb and maintain flight level 300. Climb, maintain 300, Global 572 Heavy. That is so cool. Did you see how he sounded weaker? Because Salt Lake Center is far away. All right, we're clear to 300. So we now can go into VNAV. The reason I'm not doing VNAV is I just wanted to do a little bit more of a controlled a, a controlled climb, 3,000 feet per minute. Did you hear that, though? Wasn't that cool? It simulated being far away. Yeah. Uh, I was Saturday at the first when Spieth hit the, the green off the tee, but I have to say it was a total pleasure watching, following and watching Molinari. Yeah, for sure. All right, what's well, not going direct, Nelks? It did a little bit of a turn. Okay, yeah, we're okay. Direct. Uh, 455 contact, Oakland Center, 132.9 or 532.95. I love how it does that. Love that radio. Yes, get Nick. Absolutely. Five open center, Roger. Climb maintain level three one zero. 
That's so cool that it, it simulates the static. We need to set standard pressure. Okay, standard pressure is set. Standby also set. And first officer's pressure is set. The night Aerosim game lost comms just before landing due to static and he had to fly back to reestablish comms. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah, the senior open at St. Andrews. Yep. It still strikes me, Floydian says, for all this time, uh, up until now, never really considered making realistic song. Yeah, I just wanted, I wanted good audio, but this is even better audio. That's interesting how the Project Fly isn't showing the ground speed. Is it showing the heading? No, it's not. I want to make sure this plane turns Nelks to simple. Uh, yeah, nothing's updated on Project Fly. I think you're right. Let me see if I can refresh the uh, cache on that page. Project Fly. Refresh the cache. No. Nope, it's not updating. I don't know why. Let's check out the Project Fly plugin. Project Fly. Where is it? I thought there was one in, in here. Must not be one in the list. Set key codes. What's that? Hangar door controls. No. I think that's something to do with the uh, the let. Or the Beechcraft 18, I can't remember. Make sure you don't have multiple PF running in the taskbar. Uh, oh, that's part of the problem. During the reboot. Let's see if it updates now. All right, now we're good. It's showing, correct, right? Yeah, I think it's showing. All right, we're level at cruise, so we can turn off the... Can someone remember to tell me to turn the fasten seatbelt signs back on? Oh, you're going to the Ryder Cup, Osprey? That'll be nice. That'll be a lot of fun. I, that's on my bucket list. Hello, JSNAP 1982. They have own hangar objects you can use. You can open the door with this code. Okay. I've just never seen that before. 
All right, thanks, B2. If seat belts to auto, won't they turn back on automatically? Oh, that's true. Get to play golf tomorrow, nice. I should go play golf tomorrow, but I gotta work. Having some chicken. Parmesan crusted chicken or something. Round of golf, then a trip to a nice pub. That's a good that's a good way to spend a day. Exactly. <laughs> Floydian keeps the seat belts on the whole time. <laughs> Alright, if I go to descent or sorry, progress page, I've got hundred and eighty five miles to top of descent. What does it have our top of descent? It has it. All right, let's look at the map here. Change the range. Actually, I have 120. There's Jack. Okay, so top of descent is just past lava. That must be Lava Hot Springs, Idaho. Looking at his FSC log, he never. St he, yeah, he's a he's a machine. He grinds it out for show. Hawaiian hippie. We got a sub crab. Hawaiian hippie gifting the sub up to Osprey Simulations. Thank you, Hawaiian hippie. We, we got a sub, a sub crab. GSA, baby. We're actually using the global call sign today on Pilot Edge, so that's good. We cool like that. Flight Sim Karma, exactly. I enjoyed Hawaiian Hippie's stream last night. He was flying the 717 around Hawaii. I'm not a Mad Dog fan, but but uh, the 717 looks like it's a good plane. What do you think of it, Hawaiian? Spork, your su snack, your subs up. Chat convinced me to fly on PE last night. Boy, was that stressful. Yeah, I'm on PE right now, and it adds an element of, like, I, I, I'll be honest, Hawaiian hippie. I, I, I'm nervous right now because I'm in a heavy on pallet edge. I blew, I made a mistake already, but he, he was kind enough to look the other way for a moment. I, I was, I was over 250 knots below 10,000, so. But, uh, yeah. I get nervous. I get, and that's why I won't take some planes out on pilot edge until I really become comfortable. Like the seven two seven is, that's a scary plane to take out on pilot edge because it's slippery. It's so slippery. They'll write the deviation after you land exactly. Why don't I like the MD-80? It's, I, I will admit that the MD-80 is one of the most complete aircraft. It's a very s solid simulation of the actual MD-80. It's a very good plane. Um, 
the reason, well, I can't place a finger on it exactly, but I'm not a fan of how the McDonnell Douglas lay out their cockpit. I'm not a fan of how they lay out the cockpit. I'm almost thinking that at flight level 300, Salt Lake Center might be a little bit louder here, but I don't know where their nearest transmitter is. I wonder how they, if they, I guess they probably look at the map and see how far you are from the actual transmitter or repeater. I won't fly anything like the 72 or 732 on PE. I have no idea how to flight plan with them. Yeah, you can, you can file a slant, a slant whiskey and just do VOR to VOR. Um, and then you can do that. You can just, but just file slant alpha or whiskey, and then just fly VOR to VOR. Or you can use the FMC in either of those planes now. But yeah, it's um, the the MD eighty. I don't know. It just doesn't. Maybe it's more of a. I'm used to Boeing, and if I'm not in a Boeing, I'm used to Airbus. I'm just McDonnell Douglas. Just does everything differently. So Blues Master two thousand. How you doing? I don't know. Maybe I should try to rethink my life with regard to Mad Dogs. Ground Point Niner, yo. You sound really cool on the radio right now, AJ. It's really nice static audio. It, it's really cool. I like it a lot. Yeah, very cool. I'm I'm with you. Uh, it took me a long time with the MD. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty comfortable taking the 7.5 or the 7.6 or the 7.37, or the 7, 7, 800 or 900 out on PE. I But I am, I'm nervous with a heavy because, like, this is a heavy, right? I'm a little bit nervous. but And, of course, all the GA, I'll, I'll fly on Pilot Edge. But I, I have to work my way up to, to fly in the 7.27 because, for example... When I when I today when I did that uh, that arrival into to Minneapolis, uh, I went into I, I pulled back to idle, and I uh, set the IAS speed and the IAS speed um, wasn't set correctly and all of a sudden the plane just pitched up and in, in a matter of seconds it was a thousand feet above uh, where I wanted to be. So stuff like that on pilot edge, you got it. It's scary, man. It's scary, <laughs> but that's what makes pilot edge brilliant. Is that the? Um, it adds that element of realism. So you you you, you know, you want to you want to do everything correctly. It's always slant whiskey with the seven two and seven three. You have the ability to fly Victor Airways and some SIDS with DME only. Okay. Can you do slant? Hey, that's a good question, Ground Point Niner. AJ, can I fly? Can I file slant alpha with the seven two or the seven three? Can I fly, file slant alpha and you'll you'll give me a slant alpha? VOR to VOR um, flight. Or do I have to do whiskey? That's another nice feature is I can have the FMC right there. You've always done slant alpha with the 727? That's what I'm thinking, yeah. But, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. It's the type of equipment. For so slant eight, alpha... Delta, Oklahoma Center, loud and clear. Slant alpha means... Um, yeah, you can do VOR to VOR. Roger, you're uh, again, loud and clear. But with slant alpha, you can't fly SIDS. No, you'll get radar vectors, right? Well, actually, you could fly SIDS. Couldn't you fly SIDS using some SIDS have a VOR uh, radials? Don't some SIDs have VOR radios? 
And just because you're slant alpha doesn't mean you can't use DME, right? Or does slant whiskey mean you have DME? Why would you not have DME? How would how would you not have DME? I would think if you wanted to, you could file a flight plan 777 as alpha, and you're just limiting VOR to VOR. Yeah. We're still hear, hearing pure audio on our end. Yes, you are. Yeah, that sounds pretty awesome. They need they need to change it for you. I think they wanted to make it fully le 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 legible, fully full quality for you guys, um, just so you didn't have to f um, fight to, to hear someone. But, yeah, I hear you. Slant Alpha or W is fine. A lot of people do that on here. Okay. Are there any Slant Alpha SIDs? The 172 with no GPS doesn't have DME. I thought it did. If you guys haven't joined this Facebook page, you should. Facebook.com slash groups slash X-Plane users. Any non-RNAV aid works. Walks. Walks! <laughs> Default scenery on a John Fly stream. Who said that? Was this default? No, this is not default. No. Nope. There's Jackson Hole. That's the Tetons. The Grand Teton Mountains. And what does Teton mean? But yeah, Scorp uh, Scorpio Ron. This is all Ortho 4 XP. Created by the guy right there in the chat, Jason App 1982. Uh, I wish I, I actually was going to golf uh, this afternoon, but my partner didn't want to. In case you just joined, this is the default FS world in 720p. <laughs> it means hot 600, yeah. Is there a golf course, doggo? I don't see a golf course. Where's a golf course? I think someone cried wolf. Was there a golf course? I know there's one coming up in Jackson, but it's not. We can't see it yet, can we? Oh, don't do not do that to me. Oh, you just had a golf course up there because we were talking about golf. <laughs> the world is our golf course. Sorry we didn't get a chance to golf or play pool, AJ. We didn't get a chance to play pool either. But isn't the 727 RVSM approved? I think, yeah, you can be if you want to be. Yeah. All right, 98 to the top of descent. Let's uh, start thinking about this. Redo our ATIS. Mm, yep, still any 1.6 left and right. Might get left or right, I don't know. Let's gamble instead. <laughs> Teton means go golfing. I agree with you. Teton, yeah, go golfing in Indian. Okay, I'm just bringing up the Nordic 5 arrival. Uh, the Nordic 5 here. It's got uh, landing. We're going to be landing south, so we're, we're going to expect 15,000 for one runway 16 left or right. Uh, 
after Nordic, we go uh, to Weber. Weber at 12,000. If we were landing north, we would go via Set, Diane, Anity, and then and then out to Fairfield and around, possibly. He's going to Roblox. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, fun. He's going to Roblox. See if I have any packages for me, will you? All right. Thank you. It ain't going to Roblox. Okay. Flyboy's going to go to the mailbox. And then we'll, we can review the uh, approach. Ooh, do we have a Nico? Do we have a Nico spotting? There we go. Rock the full level D motion emote if you can. Delta Tooth 13, how you doing, sir? I was uh, very excited to see the news about PauseCon with Mr. Davies. Do you like my livery? Rock that full motion. Y'all reserve a tea time in Orlando. You know how hot and humid it's going to be in Orlando in June? It's going to be so humid. But I, I actually, because I've never golfed in Florida, I'm actually open to the idea. Because then I can chalk it off the list. Um, I need to see if Jay Krause is going to come golfing with us. If you guys see Jay Krause, ask him if he's going to go. I saw him here earlier, but I w I'm wondering if he's going to... Uh... Hey, there's a golf course. That's Teton Pines. I've golfed that before. Can confirm it sucks. B2 got it. Add a Hanski to B2. We got some crabbing going on. Oh, yeah, that's a major crab. That's a gangster crab. What's our crosswind? Oh, look at that crosswind. 277 degrees at 72 knot crosswind. Let's change our range. There's lava, lava hot springs. You're going to Ponte Vedra to do some golf? My brother lives at TPC Sawgrass. Oh. I'd love to play with Sawgrass. Uh, you'll have a good time, Nico. You got an Amazon package Friday. It's still sitting in the mailbox. What'd you get, Jeffrey? What are you not so excited to go grab? Verity, loving the livery. Thank you. It's yeah, it's a custom build. It's an it's an old one by um, Cranky sixty five back in the day when he was painting regularly for the Twitchy Twitch world. Just leave your ball in the water. Yeah, go in the water and play the water ball. Yep. TPC Sawgrass. I um. I think I could get a double bogey on uh, the 17th at Sawgrass, I think. What lake is that? That's Palisades Reservoir right there, boys, girls. I'll, I'll go play with you, Nico. In fact, uh, I've got a lot of time in, in August. <laughs> I will come play with you. You name when, I'll come meet you. I even have, I might even have a Sky Miles ticket. <laughs> I'll warn you, though, I'm playing to about a 17, 16, 17 handicap right now, sadly. Yes, uh, and then on the golf course, we could talk about how PauseCon and Project Fly could have have a have that awesome FS economy type situation. In my prime, I would get a double bogey anywhere. Heck, even a triple. Yeah, I. 
I had, I didn't play too well the other day. I had fun though. I mean, on 18 holes, I probably got f- six pars that day, so it wasn't a very good round. But I'll take my pars and run with it. 17 is actually easy. It's just the pin location and the winds that sometimes make it harder. Oh, for the okay for the non-tournament tees, is it 97 for the for the guys in the tournament? 97. 97 I would uh, 97 believe it or not 97 yards at because sawgrass is pretty much at sea level isn't it I would probably use a pitching wedge believe it or not yeah I think I would use a pitching wedge cuz I t- I tend to be a club or two different from everyone else I think part of it has to do with the fact that I'm casting a little bit on my swing but I'm lucky if I get par from time to time. Hey, as long as you have fun, AJ. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. A pitching wedge. There's no baseball in golf. It says B2. <laughs> All right, let's do a giveaway. This time we're going to do a giveaway on the John Fly Discord. So you have to be on the John Fly Discord for the giveaway. Yep. And what we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, if you enter the raffle, uh, we're going to do the raffle, but you have to be on the Discord to get the super secret claim phrase. So let's go into the John Fly Discord for a moment. Charlie Center Delta 2189. I want to make sure I let you know I am back on the deck. And we'll go into the John Fly... Oh, let's go into the uh, lounge, JF lounge. And I'll put the super secret claim phrase into the JF lounge. Um, Delta 213, 97 yards is a solid sandwich. So are you talking like a 56 degree for you? I can't can't do 97 yards with a 56. I I, I just can't. But I know my yardage, right? I, I accept my limitations. I, okay, I'll go through the yardages since we have 34 miles to the top of descent. Um, if I'm hitting like 150 yards, I'm using a 7 iron. If I'm hitting 140 yards, I'm hitting an 8 iron. If I'm hurt, like hitting... Hazardous weather information, Quebec to Sigma 58 Central, south out until 1955 for South Dakota, North Dakota, and Montana concerning an area of thunderstorms, top 2, flight level 420. Further information is available from Iowa or Flight Service Frequency. Oh, we got bad weather in Montana. Um, with my uh, nine iron, I can hit 130, 135. Pitching wedge is 125, 120, 125. Gap wedge is like 195 to 110, depending on my swing speed. Yeah. Type exclamation discord, Delta 213. Exclamation discord. No one is not invited. And the super secret claim phrase, it's called the SS. SP equals Okay, you guys the uh, I got to set up Okay, so in the John Fly round or the John Fly lounge JF underscore lounge chat room on the John Fly discord is the super secret claim phrase that you must use to claim the prize so we got to go in here to raffle it can cost between one and fifteen thousand this time, and uh, it's an org store gift x dash plane org org store gift cert, and we're gonna go start. So as you see there in the chat, you got a ticket raffle for one x plane Org Store gift certificate open to all viewers. Each ticket costs one snack. You can buy a maximum of 15,000 tickets. Type exclamation ticket space and then the number of tickets you want to enter into the drawing. But, again, you must use the super secret claim phrase that is posted in the Discord under John Fly Lounge and... To get to the Discord, please tell me that that Discord link works. That's a Discord link for anyone that. <gasps> Thank you, my man. You want to see what's in it? Yeah. Hopefully, I gotta do a top of descent here in just a second. Did Nico just buy ten thousand tickets? 
Uh oh. We're opening the package, people. You want to you want to come over here next to me? Level five seventy three across Carter oh. at maintain flight level one nine zero. Cross Carter uh, and maintain one nine zero at Carter Delta five seventy two heavy. All right, uh, thirteen miles. Oh, you're coming in tight there. Hold on, sit sit right there, right there. Here we go. Are you going with mommy? Thank you. I'll open that after our descent. Okay, reset MCP. Can I get an IOU for snacks? Sure. All right, uh, reset the MCP. He said one nine or zero, right? Yeah. One nine or zero. Down here it says Carter at, yeah, it's got it at 15. Hopefully this works. Uh, two niner niner. Slant. Uh, flight level. I'm I'm nervous doing this, but let's do it. Flight level one nine or zero. At Carter. How come it didn't ask me to execute? I wonder if it's going to recompute. All right, let's start our descent now. So descent, descend now. Salt Lake Center, Global 572 out of 300. Zero, zero. Global 572, roger. All right. We are now descending. And we're going to maintain 190. We're still on LNAV and VNAV. I'm hoping that it... It looks like Carter's in 57 miles. I'm hoping that it recomputes... Because it says one, it's in bold, but I don't. I for some reason it didn't execute. I know, don't. I don't know why. How many? I how many? <laughs> how many snacks do you want, Scotty P? If Nico doesn't win, then uh, then something's rigged. How do you know your balance of John Fly Monopoly money? You type in exclamation snack, S N A K. Yeah, like Blazing Monk just did. Balance photo zero Victor Lima, executive ground to departure frequency 127.4, squawk 2750. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta spell it correctly, Nico. Balance zero Victor Lima, is that correct? Let's get the current ATIS information for Salt Lake. Okay, information Lima. Please Oh, they did. They switched it around. They're now landing they're now landing north. Dang it. I hate that. Um we're still on the Nordic five. I won't change it quite yet. We'll see what happens. You just cleared the mountain by 180 feet. Whew. Delta 2189, cross uh, two zero miles, 20 miles before bear. It's and maintain, flight level 240. I'm here in static. Oh, uh, no, I don't think you did it wrong, did you? I think it looks good. I'll Delta check. Delta 
Sorry, um, again, cross there, uh, 240, 20 miles. Blazing Monk. Roger. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's got 409 in for Blazing Monk, yeah. Oh, tickets, not ticket, yeah. There you go. So this is uh, Logan. Uh oh. Black, Black box is having a failure. Uh oh. Black box has a failure. Oh yeah. The super secret claim phrase is in the John Fly Discord. Global 572, Just a second. If someone could tell him, well, I'll tell him verbally. Salt Lake Approach, Global 572, Heavy Flight Level 250, Descending 190 with Lima, Nordic 5. Global 572 heavy salt lake approach, descend via the Nordic 5 arrival. Expect visual approach, runway 34 left. Descend via the Nordic 5 arrival, uh, expect uh, visual 34 left, uh, global 572 heavy. All right, we can now descend via the Nordic. So the Nordic we have, I gotta look at this again because for, for the, uh, now, see, this is when I start to get nervous. Uh, for Salt Lake City, uh, the arrival, the Nordic 5, has a different situation for landing north. So landing runway is 3-4 from Nordic. You cross 178 to seat. All right, so we're doing Nordic, and we're going to do ILS 3-4 left. Yeah, ILS 3-4 left. Execute. Uh, oh wait, we want to do the the Nordic. Nordic five. Execute. Drag required. All right. All right, now let's compare this. So we got discontinuity on the LNAV. So let's go check altitude target, drag required. See, this is where I get start to get nervous. LHO, execute. Oh, crap. Carter. Direct to Carter. Okay. And then after Carter, we want to do change in the approach runway 34 left. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Carter, then Nordic set, Diane, Anity. All these look good. Carter at 190. All right. Uh, I don't know why it has 340 at Nordic, though. It should be. Uh, Point seven four zero slant uh, Nordic five. We want to be at Nordic. I'm 
I'm gonna go into vertical speed mode for a moment before I figure this out. All right, so if I go, if I go slant 15,000 at Nordic. No, it doesn't like it. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, I might have to fly it manually. Yeah, so in the org, in the John Fly, uh, in the John Fly Lounge on the John Fly Discord, there's the super secret claim phrase. You'll see the super secret claim phrase. You can't win the raffle without typing in the super secret claim phrase within two minutes of winning the raffle. So go to the John Fly Discord, go to the John Fly Lounge, and type in SS. Uh, type, you'll get the super secret claim phrase. All right, I think we're. at 15 full speed brake I'm going to be at set at 15,000 yeah 15,000 at set let's change the range Vertical speed. Oh, come on. There's 18,000. We'll set pressure. 3017. Three zero one seven on the standby, and the first officer is going to be three zero one seven. All right, we're supposed to be at fifteen thousand at SETI. We're three miles away. Ooh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. That reminds me of a movie. Hunt for Red October. Okay, we'll descend down to 11,000 now. We'll still do a vertical speed down to 11. Still got the speed brake in. I'm gonna set my IS speed to 240 just because I need to slow this bad boy down. I'm getting nervous. Yeah, exclamation Discord. And by the way, Delta 213, you better go into my Discord and get the super secret claim phrase because I don't, I don't want you claiming to not know the super secret claim phrase in order to win because you you put a lot of snacks on the line baby and if you lose I get to go fl I get to go golfing with you at Sawgrass that's just the way it is Bruce Hornsby said that all right let's change the range okay I'm supposed to be at Diane at 11,000 got six miles to go Hmm. It's going to be close. Does anyone know if PayPal servers are down and can't do anything with it? That's bad. I have no idea. We'll increase this. Four miles need to be at 11,000. Yeah, we're fine. 240 knots, looking good. No, no, he spent 10,000. I'm in the tennis court at Camp Nico. I can't access Discord. Controversy. Controversy. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a hint. What The super secret claim phrase, Nico, I'm going to give you a hint. It's related to 97 yards. It's related to 97 yards. That's the hint, Nico. <laughs> You're on the tennis court at Camp. I'd like to be. Escort Cap Nico. Okay, uh, Anady. After Cedar. All right, Anady at uh, eleven thousand. All right, we're level at eleven thousand. We'll bump her up to two fifty. Keep that speed up. Should I go flaps one now? Hmm. I don't know. I think I will go. 
on uh I'm gonna sync up my heading but Salt Lake Santa Cruz where at to maintain one seven thousand Salt Lake Altimira three zero one five landing north. I'm gonna go heading sync up the heading bug here. Yeah, there we go. Nope, that's not the super secret clip phrase. But you haven't won yet, so but I'll set the timer for the win. Here we go. Where's the time? Where's Fly John? Here we go. I'm setting up the timer. You got two minutes left to get in the raffle. There are 18 people in. Normally there'd be 29, but there was someone that put too much money in. One, two minutes left. November 40, zero Victor Lima, local departure, radar contact. Global 572 heavy, reduce speed 2210, contact approach 125.7. Down to 210 and 25.7, Delta 572 heavy, or Global 572 heavy. Okay, reducing down over to 20, it's 257, I hope. Solic approach, global 572, 11,000. Lufthansa 45, heavy roger, clear to Salt Lake Airport via flight heading 200. All right, let's go on to heading hold. Lufthansa 455, roger, advise when ready. After Cedar. Lufthansa 155 heading uh, 164 heading. Let's see, what does it say? Uh, from Nordic 170. Okay, then depicted to Cedar, then 164 heading. All right, so 164 after Cedar. All right, I'm gonna go flaps one. Global 572 heavy, so like approach. Airport is at 10 o'clock and eight miles advice inside. We have the airport inside. Uh, Global 572 heavy. Global 572 heavy, cleared visual approach, runway 34 left. Cleared visual approach, 34 left, global 572 heavy. Global. Global. Okay, the winner's going to be claim, called here. Squawk 2161. All right, here we go. Can someone type in exclamation valve freedom just once? And we'll draw the winner. Do this, dudes. Are you ready? Here we go. In three, two, one. <laughs> yes! Go! Yes! 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 Freedom! One able advised number of souls on board. B2 successfully claimed. Well done, B2. <laughs> Delta 2199, contact Salt Lake Approach 135.5. All right, I need to look at the map now. Three, four left, vectors to final. Delta 2189, so the approach is minus 8,000. Expect visual approach, runway three, four left. Still got the boards out. November eight zero zero Delta Whiskey on ground take position. November zero Delta Whiskey on ground take position. Taxi via Charlie Bravo. All right, we've been cleared for the visual approach. We have to basically do a left turn, and then we'll. Line up for three, four left. I'm going to go ahead and put in uh, one eight zero on our speed, and we're a heavy, so we're actually going to come out quite a ways here. Maybe we'll stop here at nine thousand, actually, just for a second. 
when you're cleared for a visual, it's kind of up to you what you do as far as your approach, you know, as long as it's not too far out of the norm. Uh, I'll go flaps five. Thanks. Speed is dropping. I gotta watch that. But I don't want to turn in too tight because I'm a heavy. No, your your money's gone, Nico. You spent ten thousand and and B two one. Yeah, B B two one. No. Well, look here. Look what it says. Delta two thirteen. And I see ten thousand right there is ten thousand in brackets. And everyone else did like one hundred, five hundred, two fifty. He's right there. Delta two thirteen, ten thousand. I gotta land this plane though, boys. Alright, flaps fifteen. Uh final approach speed is flaps thirty one two seven. Uh oh. Arm speed brakes. Spoilers armed. Down to eight thousand. We'll go down slowly. And we'll make a left turn. Heading select. Is there a pause? I need to go down to 6100. I need to slow down to 170. Keep the turn going. This is scary. Totally scary. Keep the turn going. Down to 6100. Keep the turn going. Flaps 20. Keep the turn going. Keep the turn going. The little guy loses. <laughs> what was B2's percent? What was B2's percentage chance of winning? Global five seventy two heavy contact tower one two two action one three two point six five. Thirty two sixty five over to tower global five seventy two heavy. All right, let's get our bearings, 6,100. And we want to intercept the loke. Damn it. Oh, crap. Set nav 1, 111.9. NAV 1 set to 111.9er. Set nav 1, course 344. NAV-1 course set to 344. Alright, no problem. Good day. This is nerve-wracking. Okay, we'll maintain 6100 here for a bit. November 800 of the Whiskey Knuckle Departure. Ready contact, climb and maintain 13000. Now we'll arm the loke. No, I can't. Why not? Oh, that's why. One eleven point nine. So it didn't like the plane command. Course three four. Approach. Final approach speed. Salt Lake Tower, Global 572, Heavy, Visual 34 left. Global 572, Heavy, Salt Lake Tower, runway 34 left, clear to land. Wind 3106. 34 left, clear to land, Global 572, Heavy. I thought 
how my gear's down? It's coming down. I think it is. Yep. The last five in November Golf, Oakland Center, descent at pilot's discretion. Maintain the one three thousand. Flaps thirty. Keep our speed up. <laughs> Definitely pitching up. November eight zero zero Delta Whiskey, clear direct Collie. Intercept the loke. Let's do uh, auto brake. Contact approach one two five. And now we'll hit. Get your landing guesses in now, boys and girls. Approach. Uh, yeah, there we go. Glide slope. Final approach speed one two seven. Oops. That was scary. Whew. I'm going to need a, a Captain Morgan after that. Is it 5 o'clock somewhere? Uh, B2, send me a Discord message, Roger, about the gift certificate win. So I can put it on the to-do list. Uh-oh. It's a little off the loke. D stay on the loke. Why are you going off the loke? Why are you going off the loke? One thousand. Call the ball. Stay on target. Stay on target. I need the skills to pay the bills. I need. To, can I adopt the skills to pay the bills, please? Come on now. Should we do auto land? Because it's category three, or it's category four IFR right now. See those puffs, man? Those puffs are threatening. Prediction: Stay on target. Stay on target. Red 5 standing by. How would you guys disengage autopilot? Right there? Disengage autopilot. My airplane. Turn on. Oh. That Lufthansa is doing an emergency descent. Lufthansa 455, that is correct. Oh, snack. How do you land a heavy? How do you land a heavy? One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. November 40, zero, Kerry Marajan. Reversers in. Auto throttle off. Hey, I just heard some clapping. 112 was the landing rate. We're going to get off at the high speed up here. Oh, snack. My reversers won't turn off. That's bad. There they go. Flap zero. Flaps Flap. going up all the way. Spoilers down. Spoilers down. Get, did Sea Dog get it on the head? Did he call it on the head? Wow. That's impressive. All right, we're off at Alpha 7. We're going to go ahead and clean up the aircraft here a little bit. Flaps are coming up. Let's turn the landing lights off. Taxi lights on. Uh, collision light. Position and red can be on. And we'll start the APU. 
Eastern uh, Tower. We're basically going to taxi to Terminal 2, I believe. Global 572, heavy, what do you buck? Uh, terminal uh, 2, the uh, Seagates, please. Global 572, the heavy, taxi to Terminal 2. The um, Alpha Echo, monitor ground, have a good one. Terminal 2 via Alpha, Echo, monitor ground, Delta 572 Heavy. Have a good one. All right, ground is on. Uh, we're 3 4 left, so ground is uh, 1 2 3 7 7 5. Well, tons of 455 Heavy, uh, your present heading is fine. You can expect further vectors for uh, visual approach. Oh yeah, and flight on Project Fly. Thank you, B2. I think you just got some snacks. Well, Thunder 455 Heavy, that is correct. If you like runway 16, for short approach advice. Black Box is coming into Salt Lake City on Powered Edge with a Mayday. Oh, nice. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Is that Alpha? I'm showing yeah, that's Alpha. Whew. Well, Thunder 455 Heavy, Roger. So Lufthansa, he's he's flying a he's flying a seven four seven emergency into Salt Lake. Wow, that's cool. Delta twenty one ninety nine contact tower one three two point six five. So Alpha, and then Echo. We got to turn on the second, the second one up here. I think he gets a big bonus. Yeah. Lake Tahoe, three zero three three. So Sea Dog one, correct? How many snacks should I give him? B two. Should we give him just a? Multiplier for being spot on. That was daring to do 112 in a in a seven uh, six seven. That was definitely daring. Okay. Black box seven eleven coming in one six uh, engines out two hydraulics down. Oh wow. I wonder if he did that on purpose. He was going to Germany from San Francisco. We heard him take off. We'll be able to see him landing. That's interesting because he's he's no, landing. He's landing one six, but it's because it's an emergency, right? And I landed three four. He's at seventeen thousand. I got some lines across my screen here. That's really weird. Do you guys see see that line right there on the screen? Or is it? November 420, Victor weird. Lima, contact local approach 135.1. Alright, APU, Jen's going. Uh, APU bleed can come on. And November 5, 8 November Golf. Radio we're going to turn in pretty soon here. Give him double. Uh, uh, squeezy, that's how Pilot Edge is now. That's default. We it's beautiful, isn't it? Final visual of three four left. Delta twenty one eighty nine, so like that one with three four left. Go to land with three one zero eight six. So he's landing That's three four left, so the black left. box is coming in one six. Number five at number goals for advise when you have like the whole weather and say approach request. Number eight, number Golf, Roger, fly heading 340. I have to take some of my 182 out and fly. Yeah, exactly. Hey, look, it sounds brilliant, doesn't it? All right, we're going to park at the Charlie Gates. November 420, Victor Charlie Lima, 6 approach. looks good. San Francisco, Altimera, 3002. Lufthansa 455, contact approach 135.5. SLC to somewhere, maybe. We have to. We might want to watch Black Box come in. That was good. That was a fun flight. It's been a long time since I've flown a heavy. Uh, auto gates working. I think. Yep. It is. Heavy assault lake approach, altimeter 3015, advise when you have full weather, expect ILS runway 16, right? 
He's expecting ILS 1.6, right? That's cool. Okay, so, oh, crap. Parking brake. Don't know why it didn't set. Got to go in reverse now. <laughs> All right, project fly. Finish the flight, John Fly. Okay. Project fly. Complete the flight. Yeah. Thank you, B2. All right, let's give out some snacky snacks. So Sea Dog got it right. Add. I'll give 200, 250 to Sea Dog for that awesome landing rate. Um, and then we'll give uh, Hunsky to B2 for helping me remember to do Project Fly. Anyone else need snacks? Eight zero zero Delta Whiskey, no call approach. Sacramento Altimeter to nine and ninety five. Fish go blue for doing the Pallet Edge roster. Gets four hundred forty four snacks at this moment. 444. Somewhere simulated, moral support, adding 22 to somewhere simulated. Thank you. 